P&G Technologies, we are a supplier of custom propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you a custom design on the Pulsar. This is the PG6580E. We'll show you the propane steps and then we'll show you the natural gas steps and we'll get started on that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the two. You could probably actually just grab that with your finger there. Pull that hose off there, the vent. And then you have the gasoline vent one. Pull that off there. Go ahead and unclip the clips here. Get your cover off, your filter, and then we'll show you the next steps. We'll swing it around front and you can see that. Okay, now we got three. We actually have a bolt here that we're going to remove and then two nuts here that hold it to the uh, carburetor. This bottom one is an eight millimeter. Go ahead and pull this bolt out. And that's basically just your vibration for the air cleaner box. So let's go ahead and pull that one out. And then these are 10 up here. Let's go ahead and remove that one. This one's kind of on the outside of it. Just do the same here, take the nut off on this one. back cover and then we'll show you the next steps okay now that we've got that removed when we install our slim adapter on here obviously it's bringing this out so the air cleaner is going to pull away a little bit these studs here aren't long enough so what I do is take this metal little bracket off here it's just a little intake gasket with a seal in it you're gonna lock down on these and turn them out both sides until you have clearance to be able to get everything back on. So we've already pulled these out here. They're very easy to pull out. You can either double nut it if you want. I use the vice grips. Just make sure you grab back here so you don't narrow the threads. Go ahead and get your metal gasket back on. Put our adapter on and it all lines up. The face matches, all your choke works, everything's good on there. We'll supply you a gasket here. Okay, go ahead and get that. Now on the air clear, this back box, where the vibration is, there's a little metal bushing here. Just press that out. Presses out fairly easy, okay? And then what you're going to do is we'll supply you another nut here, or a bolt, okay? We'll give you a spacer for back here, all right? And then just line the top, the front up first, up here. So you can get that started, okay, and then go ahead and get your nut back on this, there we go. Huh. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back off and I'm going to back these out a little bit more just to give me enough clearance. See, that's how we, and when you do them, just kind of pop them loose when you first set them. And there's plenty of meat back in there. There's still a half inch of that back in there. So go ahead, put your metal gasket back on. Just got to play with it back and forth just so you got make sure you got clearance. So let's go ahead and get that back on. Okay. And then we'll get our spacer back on here again. Okay. Let's bring that back up around. Line all that back up. Okay, now I got plenty of room there. There we go. 
There it goes. All right, and then get the outer one on. Go ahead and tighten those down. We're going to start, before we tighten that down, let's make sure that we get this started. Okay. And it's going to switch from an A to a 10 down here now. it right down because all this is in place so all right it's as simple as that it's really easy go ahead and get your cleaner back on here now there's a little boot down here when I've noticed this you got to kind of hold it when you're putting the cover back on. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and get your clips back on. And you're just gonna hook the two hoses back up in the back. And that's it, that part of it's done. We'll get that hooked up and then we will show you the next steps okay now what we're going to do is go ahead and install the regulator we're going to mount it right up here that way it gives you clearance for the primer button in the back which helps you get you a little burst of fuel to get it initially started we're just going to mount it off this side here and then what you're going to do just come over from the weld an inch mark it in the center make sure you got room back in the back you know what, let's bring that over about an inch and a half, about an inch and a half. Then from there, you're going to come over five and three quarters, okay? And you're just going to center it between the frame here, okay? So just get you a nice little center point, okay? I take a punch, that way your drill bit doesn't wander on you. Let's make a couple little nice little dents. Now, obviously, you have the gas tank back here, okay? Do not puncture that or you'll have some problems. I'm drilling these out 5 16. The back one's the one you want to really watch. Okay, we'll go ahead and supply you the hardware in there. Just go ahead, line those up, and we'll give you uh, flat washers, lock washers for it. Go ahead and get them started. Sometimes it's tough to get your hands back in there. Okay, go ahead and tighten them down. These are 7 sixteenths. Right, nice and simple. We'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, now we'll get this thing hooked up to propane. Now we off we carry this two different ways. You got the swivel, which just connects there, or we have the quick connects that you can get for the propane. Now when you hook to the natural gas, we'll supply this with it. 
And these are open orifices and then on the hose will be the female side when you do the natural gas. So we'll go ahead and tighten this down. We'll get this connected to the tank. Now these are the inner sides. You got the OPD, which is the outer ones. That's for like your grill. This is for running combustion wool. These are lefty. Go ahead and tighten that up. Now the ball valve's off here, we'll go ahead and turn the ball valve on. On the back of the regulator is a primer button. Go ahead and hit that for a second or two. You make sure your gasoline fuel is shut off, okay? And we're going to loosen this because this is your main adjustment. This is your power elbow. We'll set this as close as we can. Every situation's a little bit different. That's why that adjustment's there. So go ahead, get, make sure your fuel's on, hit your button. Try to start this baby. There you go. Start it up beautiful, runs beautiful. All right, that shows you the steps on the Pulsar. Again, this is the PG6580E. Uh, we've got a hook to propane, but we did show you the natural gas steps there. So again, these are custom kits. This is designed specifically for this unit. It's not a universal kit. We try 100% to try to just sell custom kits because it makes it so much easier for you not to be hunting around for parts. So I hope this video helped. If you like it, please hit the like button below. Again, if you'd like to purchase this kit, we could be reached at 734-992-2648, or you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.